Today we're headed to Palm Springs. Alex is late as usual, just woke up at noon when we said he needed to be here an hour ago. Me and Zach are gonna grab some food from Chick-fil-A. Uh, so we're headed to Palm Springs, which, I don't know, Zach, how would you describe Palm Springs? Going to Palm Desert. Going to Palm Desert. So it's gonna be hot out there. It's gonna be about 120 degrees. I think Alex picked the hottest weekend of the year that we could go to this place. If you don't live in Southern California, I really doubt you're gonna know what Palm Springs is. If you do Palm live in Desert. SoCal, Palm Desert, you'll know what it is. Um, it's not somewhere you'd probably fly in to see if you didn't live in the SoCal area. I imagine if you're in like another part of the country, you have some other like local spot that's fun to go to for a weekend trip, but you wouldn't really come to uh, from out of state. So that's kind of our vibe for this. It's like old money, really hot desert. And there's like a festival that happens usually in the summer times, a couple of weekends of the year. That's a lot of fun. It's a lot of like pools because it's desert vibes. It has kind of like this old school, like 70s era desert vibe to it. But then also like there's a handful of like new places that are trying to get a new like uh, generational vibe happening. So I don't know, it's kind of weird. You, you'll see when I show it to you. What do you think about it, Zach? It's gonna be hot. Yeah, it's gonna be hot as hell out there. So anyways, we got lots of sunscreen. We're here at Chick-fil-A. What are you getting? Uh, chicken sandwich. Chicken Sammy. Me, I'm gonna get a little breakfast, Sammy. Look at this guy's cow mask. That's nice. Try that. They gave this guy a 1998 IBM computer to type in orders. Shows up in a liquidity hat and a moped shirt. This is the kind of guy with a Prius that says future in D. Okay, guys, so we're finally on the road. We're on our way to Palm Springs, uh, or Palm Desert, as Zach likes to say. Uh, because that's where we're going. That's where we're going. Um, Alex, what is your impressions of Palm Springs? If, if no one had ever been there, what would you say it's like? Oh, uh, take what you would imagine to be California in the 50s and... I said 70s. Okay, that's fair. In a time about at least 40 years ago and then just kind of uh, freeze frame it and that's what you get in Palm Springs. And how do you feel about that? Oh, it's great. Love it's that. It's great, yeah. Just love it. Guys, we just made a transition to the express lane. Executed flawlessly by Zach. I would say textbook even. Yeah. How flawlessly we got in there. This guy's like an uh, F1 driver. Yep. Look well, at this. Watch another lane well, change. Yeah. Another. Oh, wow. Folks, if you have never seen something like this, oh my God. Bring your wallets. We've stumbled upon a garden statue desert area and you can see the strangest most interesting statues here why didn't you bring your gimbal i have it oh it's charging oh zach i'm gonna need you to buy that look at this stuff that, that that's the headless horseman there's an eagle there's a guy with a musket oh my gosh look at the guy with the musket incredible and how long has someone been building these for he's been making these for 20 years 20 years wow that's incredible he's got four guys that weld for him but that's all they do as well they just weld okay yeah. he's something that's real shiny like uh let's say oh the spinosaurus in the first row down there it was just made it hasn't had a chance to patina yet. How, how long on average do these sit before someone would buy them, would you say? I'm sure it depends. It depends. Wow. But most of the time, they're pretty, somebody will see it and they'll buy it right away. Alex, what do you think? Very interesting. Do you like it? Yeah, no, it's super cool.
is so insane, they've got metal people built inside this stagecoach. They say it's worth $100,000. It's worth whatever someone it, pays for it. It's worth whatever you're going to pay for it, is the truth. <laughs> Guys, we have arrived at the Hyatt Regency. Indian Wells. We're pretty hyped. I think we just got upgraded to a pool room. We'll give you a little tour when we get in the room. Guys, right, welcome to the Hyatt Indian Wells Resort. Zach's here stocking away the nice cool drinks. Got a see-through cooler, beautiful big bathroom, vanity, stone shower, big bathtub. We're talking two beds on different levels. Alex is eating a little Cheers. goldfish, drinking a little mango claw. We're out here with a beautiful pool room view on some beautiful pieces of property that the Hyatt has to offer. Come on, guys. Uh -huh. Alex, give us a review of the Hyatt so far. Service, 12 out of 10. Love it. Beautiful resort. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful everything. Can't complain yet. Nice. Peering out the window. Yeah. Nice view of the pool. Really, um, really scenic. Lots of palm trees. I'm a fan. Let's give her a display. Come on, come on. Okay, okay. Midsummer oh. solstice. Okay, okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Give her a sniff. Give her a sniff. What do we got? Interesting. It's uh, it's very floral. All right, guys. We're outside at the Hyatt now. It's 120 degrees. Pretty hot this weekend. We still have to maintain social distancing guidelines, even though we're doing this during COVID. So that's why we're continuing to wear masks, uh, and you should as well if you're out and about. Um, we're gonna try to check out the resort and see um, if we can find the pool area and the bar. So. Hopefully that's open. I believe it's only limited service, but we're going to give it a try anyways. made it poolside. Zach, what are your thoughts on the Hyatt so far? Oh, well, we're just here hanging out by the kiddie pool, drinking alcohol, and, uh... Zach likes it that way. Yeah. Alex? I give it an 8.2 out of 10 so far. 8.2. We're at 82%, fellas. We need another 18% to get to 100. Help us out. Comment down below if you can get us there. All right, guys, it's the end of the first day. I think everyone's looking a little tired, especially Alex. It is his 25th birthday tomorrow, which is actually why we're here. I don't think I explained that at the beginning of the video. We did a weekend trip to Indian Wells to celebrate his birthday. So yeah, we're here for his birthday. Uh, we're here for a couple of nights. We've had limited travel time this year due to COVID, which I guess I should probably explain why I haven't posted in a while. I thought this year was going to be the year for posting travel vlogs, to be honest. I thought we were going to do way cooler stuff, but problem was it happened. COVID happened. This was the year no one expected and uh, just didn't ever really uh, reach its full potential this year. But I figured we're here for the weekend. I tried to film the video for you guys. So uh, if you're liking the video, please like and comment down below. Morning, everybody. It's now the next day. Uh, we're getting up at about 9 a.m. We're having everybody take a few showers and... Uh, now we're all gonna head down to the pool here in a little bit. We'll probably try to find some food first. I don't know where we're really gonna go. So the, the problem during COVID, right, is like that, uh, at least in California right now, all indoor dining is closed. You can only do outdoor dining, which makes sense. Uh, totally makes sense. Um, but it is almost 110 degrees at 9 a.m. in Palm Springs today. So I don't know if we're feeling like sitting outdoors and 110 to eat. Um, otherwise, we may just try to pick up something real quick. So uh, I'll keep you guys updated, but I'm feeling ready for the pool. Alex, how are you feeling for your day today? It's Alex's birthday today. Everybody wish Alex happy birthday. Yeah, uh, I'm feeling good. Feeling good, feeling excited to be here. Wow. Birthday, we're having a little gin and tonics. Alex, how's your birthday so far? It's great, it's phenomenal. Anything doing? else? He's uh, 25 today. 25, feeling old, a little sore. A little sore. Your joints? 
Yeah, no, they, they don't feel good after 24. The day you turn 25, everything goes. You look like sour milk, so that makes sense. Thank you. We've made it up to the rooftop in Palm Springs. This is on top of the Hyatt Resort. I don't really think we're supposed to be here right now. We just found a door unlocked, but we're hoping nobody finds out and we're okay up here. Uh, incredible view of the mountains around. I don't think you'd ever come here if you're not from Southern California, but if you are from Southern California, you should come to the Hyatt in Northside, California. How would we rate this compared to the Denver and Puerto Rico Hyatt? I'm going to give it a... It's, it's better from the like overall resort standpoint than Denver was, but like the Denver one just had this nice like uniqueness to it being in the downtown setting. Yeah, as far as convenience, that was really cool. This is not really near anything. It's just kind of like in the desert, but I mean, that's what we knew we were signing up for. It's cool, but it's very family oriented. Anyways, but you that's that's for us. Like if you have a family, you probably do want to come here. It's a cool resort, plenty of pools. Um, we came on the hottest weekend of the year, I think, but normally it has uh, great views from the hotel. Um, it has a like bar out there by the pool area, somewhere to get food, like six or seven pools. They have a hot tub. There is an adults only area, so there's no kids there. Um, that's nice to hang out. And they have little cabanas too that you could rent. Um, it's, it's a nice resort, but I don't know if you'd want to come out here if you were just like, you know, a few guys, you know, wanting to drink and hang out for the weekend like we did. But I mean, if you have family, probably. Hey guys, we made it back a couple hours ago. Just wanted to wrap up the video. I mean, it's so strange to be traveling now during COVID and I think like all of us ready for this to be done, but um, we try to just go and have like a nice, safe, fun weekend out there. Overall, we had a good time and enjoyed being out there. Um, it was just nice to get away for a weekend, which we haven't done in like over six months now. So anyways, if you enjoyed the video, comment, like down below. We'd love to hear what you guys are doing during quarantine and if there's any small local trips you've been able to make happen while maintaining social distancing and staying safe. So uh, yeah, overall, thanks for watching.